Hey guys, it's Mark. Welcome back. Let's dive in. Today, I want to teach you how to become enormously wealthy. But you got to do it the right way or else you'll get to a certain point and never grow anymore. So let's learn how to get wealthy. By the way, if this is something that sounds interesting to you, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. It makes me feel so good inside. I appreciate it. Anyway, so the difference between bank financing and private financing. Uh, bank financing is one way to buy properties. Private financing is a way to buy properties. I like for beginners to get bank financing to start with. Here's the reason. Once you've established yourself with bank financing, you have to clean up your credit. You have to get your debt paid down. You have to get your house in order. Get your mind in order to get bank financing on your first deal. Once you get that, you can go to your second one, find private money, fund the second deal with private money, and then go back to the bank and say, I've got another house that I'd like to borrow money on. Would you like to loan it to me? And they're going to say, yes, I would, ma'am or sir, because you've been making your payments on time and you're a good risk. All right, let's go over it. If you bought a house for $200,000 and you did bank financing on it and your interest rate was 3.2%. Now, keep in mind, if this video is three years old and you're looking at it right now today and interest rates are 6% at the bank, I guarantee you that private money is going to be up around 12%. So as this rate goes up, this rate's going to go up. Trust me on this. This is evergreen. It'll always be good. So at $200,000, 3.2%, $864 a month is your payment. That will pay off this entire amount in 30 years. Now you may go, wow, I want to accelerate it. I want to pay it off in 15. It makes sense to me. Well, then this whole thing can be paid off in 15 years, but you're going to pay a little bit more every month. On the other hand, if you were able to use private money for 30 years, you would never pay off this $200,000. This would be here forever and ever and ever and ever. And when you got done at the end of 30 years and you're me and you're an old man, you still owe that 200 grand. Not good. So that's why these two work so well together. A lot of people call it the Burr method. I just call it investing because that's all it is. You're optimizing everything in order to get what you want in the end. All right, so you got this $200,000. You've been able to get bank financing once. Chances are on house number two, you're going to raise private money to buy the second house. You're going to use the private money to uh, fix it. You're going to get it rented out. You're going to go to the bank and say, hey, I got another house that I want to get a lending on. They're going to lend you the money. That's going to free up this $200,000 again from your private lender. And you go to your private lender again on house number three and say, hey, I got another one. Do you want to do it again? And they're going to go, yeah, I made a lot of money last time. If you can keep these guys busy, you can do a couple, three houses a year. That is the way you guys get rich. You get wealthy. You're creating wealth with your assets. You're creating cash flow with the rent. And the more you do it, the wealthier you get and the more cash flow you do. The more cash flow you receive every month. All right, let's go over the reasons I like one and the reasons I like the other. I like them both, love them both. I've created a lot of wealth this way. So with bank financing, we have an interest deduction that comes off of our, our income taxes. We have uh, pay down. In other words, we pay off this loan. At the end of the loan, we don't owe anybody anything. Uh, we can redeploy money. We'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. We can establish our record. We can establish our credit. We can establish a relationship with the bank so that we can keep borrowing money from them. The reason I like private money, again, we have an interest deduction, which is good on and we don't have to qualify. It's not as difficult to qualify. You still have to qualify a little bit. The property has to be worth more than what you're borrowing, but the qualifying is very simple. Over here could take two, three, four weeks to qualify. Over here could take two, three days. It's very quick to get the money. Typically, once the deal's done, they wire transfer the money, that's it. You know, within three or four days, 
the project can be funded and you can be on your way to work. You can move this money, once you get bank financing, you can move it to another property. So when you close and the bank pays your private lender off, the money goes back to them, and then you go to them with the next property and say, hey, do you want to borrow, what do you want to loan me money again? And they go, of course I do. And you borrow the money again and do it over and over. All right, that's what I love about private money. That's what I love about bank financing. Banks have unlimited amounts of money they can loan. Have you ever noticed that? No bank ever says, nope, we don't have any more money to loan. They basically print it. They can loan as much as they want. Private money, however, is a limited resource. You have to treat it like that. You don't know where the next source of that, in, that money is going to be. So you always want to make sure that you've got it. And the only way to make sure you've got it is to go back to the bank and say, yeah, I want to borrow money against this house so I can go to my lender and borrow it again and over and over. Guys, it's beautiful. It's the way all wealthy people created wealth. It's by using other people's money and making them money at the same time. All right, guys, smash that like button, as a friend of mine would say, and subscribe to my channel. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you understand the way to create wealth now. Please download that list below. I've got a couple videos over here that I want you guys to check out. Um, it's in the link below. They talk a little bit more about financing, a little bit more in depth. And check them out, and I'll see you guys next week. Thanks a lot, man. Talk to you later. Hey guys, check out these two videos. They're really going to help you on your investment journey. I'm also on Instagram. Tons of great video content there. Really good stuff. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.